Art Home Solutions here in Maryland. We are installing a roof and uh, this roof right here, we're installing intake vents all along pretty much the eaves here. The reason being is the soffits are pretty blocked up and uh, the plywood here was also quite delaminated and rotted out. So we had to replace the decking on this roof here. However, uh, when your soffits are blocked up and you don't have any ventilation, that could be a, a major cause to half of the life cycle of your shingles. So what we've done is we've cut out intake for at least an area where we can get proper ventilation going into the attic and to keep the, the shingles cool on the roof to expand the life on this roof. Uh, we definitely advise of it and it's newer age technology. But as you can see here, all the way across this roof line, we're gonna be uh, installing these, uh, these vents, which are called intake vents. Definitely something that we recommend installing and uh, we have some synthetic underlayment here leak barrier pretty much all the way around and uh, this gets a lot more leak barriers so it's, it's, it's definitely a more expensive process but it's worth it in the long run to save your roof over a long period of time the exhaust vent's going to come up the top here uh, out of the top of the ridge uh, so the remaining heat that's uh, combusting inside your attic uh, like you can see over here in this roof here uh, there's really uh, you know, nothing other than this gable vent, which all that static hot air stays in the attic unless there's some sort of mushroom vent pulling and sucking out the air. But as you can see here, there's really quite not much on a lot of these houses around here. 